In the world you will have tribulation. But take heart, I have overcome the world. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace. As you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope. By the power of the Holy Spirit. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast. Because they trust in you. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time He may exalt you. Casting all your anxieties on Him, because He cares for you. Now to Him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to His power that is at work within us. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened. And do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. And death shall be no more, neither shall there be mourning. Nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. And he who was seated on the throne said, Behold, I am making all things new. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning, great is your faithfulness. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation. By prayer and petition. With thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? Jesus looked at them and said, With man it is impossible, but not with God. For all things are possible with God. The Lord said, Behold, they are one people. And they all have the same language. And this is what they began to do, and now nothing. Which they purpose to do will be impossible for them. Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. Knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him. And He will make straight your paths. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in Him. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home. And when you walk along the road. When you lie down and when you get up. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned, the flames will not set you ablaze. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, 
since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened. And I will give you rest. For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Do not conform to the pattern of this world. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. But seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms.